A Fort Myers mother has turned her grief into something good. Here's NBC2 Sean Martinelli with tonight's story to share. We were on a cruise and Jacob is having the time of his life. This is a story no parent hopes to share. I just really miss him. Smiling and being Jacob and happy. It's the story of Quinn Kavanaugh's son, Jacob. Oh, he had the, his trademark shaggy brown hair that was long and never combed. Um, and he had this huge laugh. And you could hear it from forever away. Jacob was a star base player, a soccer goalie, a young man who effortlessly made others smile. He was definitely a ham. But beneath his smile, Jacob. He struggled with depression, and we knew that. Um, but for him to, to die by suicide was an absolute surprise. It was shocking to us, really. We weren't prepared for that. It happened 10 years ago this spring. I had to go to work. He was still asleep in his room. And I woke him up, and I said goodbye to him, and that I loved him, and him being a teenager said, okay, mom, love you too. And that was it. And I got home and he was gone. I'm so sorry. Thank you. For six years, Quinn lived under the cloud of Jacob's passing. Yeah. Then she made the decision to start living in the memory of his life. And we thought, what's the best way we can honor him? And it was simply to do something that came so naturally to him, and it was just to be kind. On the sixth anniversary of his death, Jacob's family began doing kind acts. They left notes of encouragement in books and put sunflowers on cars. They left generous tips at restaurants and stuffed cash in diaper boxes. We just decided, you know what, let's take the memory of Jake and let's make it into something really healing. And for us, it's been a way to heal. Quinn hopes sharing her son's story helps remove the stigma around mental health. And she hopes those acts of kindness keep Jacob's spirit alive. He's still able to make people smile even after his passing. Yeah, he'll live on. This is a great legacy to have. In Fort Myers, Sean Martinelli, NBC2. Just today, I emceed a roundtable. Young kids, high schoolers, college, talking about mental health struggles, and they all said, you just have to believe them. Mm -hmm. When they tell you that they're having a problem, don't say, oh, you're just a kid. One day you'll know what real problems are. Right, just, right. They just want to be heard, and then you can take the next step of actually showing them the resources that are out there. Yeah, never underestimate the power of listening. Yeah. Well, have a nice night.